Hey guys, welcome back to Fantail. Today we've got another bat making video. In this one we are going to be creating a replica of this old Fantail. It's about two and a half seasons old now. Uh, the face is just starting to go because it's, it's got a, a truckload of runs in uh, Auckland Premier Cricket, a lot of hundreds. Um, so the kind of the only way to extend this one's life is to create a replica. So the kind of the key points in creating a replica bat. Obviously, we want the weight to be exactly the same, and we want the the pickup um, to be there. And we're gonna copy these specs exactly. The key point is making the pickup exactly the same. So when he's gonna switch between, if he's gonna use this for trainings, and this one's for games. The key is to make that pick up exactly the same, the weight the same. So when he's switching between the toe, he's not going to notice um, a difference between net practice and game day. So we'll make this and then at the end of the video, I'll let you know how to purchase your own. And also I'll go over the specs and do a quick ping test for you. Cool. So let's get started.
Thanks for making it up to this point. As you can see, we've just finished off this replica. So I'll just compare them for you. So starting from the top, we copied the handle spec. So you've got a nice semi-oval handle. The spine shape, we're running quite flat to that mid to low, it's kind of, I would say in between your central and mid to low sweet spot, peaking about 200 millimeters from the toe of the bat. And then you've got a nice round shape. So you can see from that point there, it's more of a round shape compared to our swell, which just lets us carry a bit more weight through the toe. It reduces the pickup a touch, but you'll find you'll get more performance in that lower end, so a little bit stronger off the front foot um, for your drives. Um, really nice and completely full through the profile, so no concaving at all, which just allows us, when you're hitting off, um, off center of the spine, you're gonna get a lot more performance because it's a lot more forgiving because you've got more willow behind where the ball is hitting the bat. Um, and you can see really nice thick edges, slightly thicker than um, the original. You've got about, these ones are 38 versus 35 on the original. Um, and weight, we have, what have we got here? The new bat is 27.4 and the original is 2. 7.2 so you've got a 0.2 of an ounce difference which probably gets your um, where your edge slightly thicker edge and slightly um, thicker toe as you can see there the density of this bat um, kind of comes with the, a little bit of the grading as well so really low density you're unlikely this is one of the lightest um, pieces of what we had in our recent shipment so that's this shape and these specs really aren't that possible in the, in the bulk of um, the willow that comes in. So if you're interested, you kind of need to get in touch before our new willow shipments arrive so you can basically reserve one of the lightest pieces so we can get these kind of specs um, for the, the weight. But you can see here our performance grade willow, so performs equally to our LE grade. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, nice straight grains there. You can see running nice and straight through the toe as well. And I'll give it a quick ping test for you. So really strong right the way through and especially across with that completely full profile um, allowing a really forgiving shape. So that is that bat done. After this video, it'll get um, knocked in facing and toe guard applied, and then it will get um, sent off, and we're gonna repair that as well to get it back into a bit better shape. Um, if you're interested in purchasing your own custom bat, we're gonna leave the link in the description. With replicas, it's always best to have them um, in the workshop with us so we can compare the pickup and get the, um, all the measurements we need. But if, that's, if you're overseas, sometimes we can also do it um, just taking a few measurements and pictures of the bat. But I hope you really enjoyed the, the video, guys. Um, lots more on the way. We'll catch you in the next one.